What up YouTube, uh, Tricks back with a tutorial video today, and this tutorial video is just going to be teaching you guys how to stream on a low-end computer. This is something that every time I stream, a lot of people ask me how I stream on a laptop that isn't that good, and these are the settings that I found to use for me. They will, might not work for everyone, but the, or these settings should be perfect if you have like a low-end PC and you want to stream at decent quality but not perfect. So basically you just want to go into settings and it'll be a studio. Uh, in your stream you just want to click the service that you use and put your stream key into it. Then you want to go into output and I found that my video bitrate anywhere from 1500 to 2000 is like perfect. Anything above 2000 for me tends to drop frames and cause my stream to lag really bad. Uh, it could be different depending on your computer and like what it's like the parts of it and your specs. If you have good specs but it's like a lower end PC, you could go like 2300, 2500, but I recommend staying under 2000. Uh, encoder, you want to have that at software times 264. I have my audio bitrate at 128. And you want to go into audio. Basically, just leave everything like that, and then into video. Now, this is something that I actually messed around with a lot. I found that my base canvas resolution, 1366 by 768, was perfect for me. And then putting the output scaled resolution anywhere from 1024 by 576 to about like 604 by 340. That's where you're gonna get, you're gonna get like decent quality anywhere from like 496 and the 544 ones are like really bad that's what I found and like it's not enjoyable to the viewer if the quality is really really bad uh, the quality isn't going to be amazing anyway because it is a lower end PC uh, but it's something that you just have to learn to deal with because you are once again streaming on a lower end PC and the FPS you want to leave that at 30 when I put my FPS anywhere above 30, my stream, honestly, like the frames drop, like I usually drop like 500 frames when I put my FPS at around 60. It's really weird. I don't know why. I think it's, I usually get the encoding overload too, all the time. That's why I tend to leave it at 30 because it is a lower end PC. Oh, this is something that really you shouldn't really mess with if you have a lower end PC. You could try 60 and see how that works streaming, but I don't think it would end up too good. And that's pretty much it for the, the settings for OBS Studio. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if this video helped you. Uh, be sure to comment if you do need help with any of the settings, because I'll be able to help you with that. Uh, peace.